Okay, so following on from what we just did with the backspin and the topspin, we're now going to look at the natural angles and side spin. Now, I explained before about how important I think the, the cue ball control is. So when you play the screw or the topspin, how important it is to control the cue ball, in my opinion, is the most important part. Because there are a lot of players that can pot the balls very well. But there are not a lot of players that can control the cue ball very well. And this, for me, is what will improve your game a lot at Chinese 8 ball. Yes, the potting is important, but even more important is the cue ball control. That is why I like to teach the cue ball control so much, because yes, the potting is the potting. Everybody can practice just the potting. You can just put the balls out and practice the potting. Yes, it's important, but I prefer to teach more about the cue ball control because the cue ball control is what makes the game easy. So the natural angles is also one of the most important parts of the game. So before, when I was setting up the screw back and the top spin, I was setting it up with the perfect angle. But unfortunately, at Chinese 8 ball, you don't always get the perfect angle. Or at any cue sports, at snooker, nine ball, you don't always leave yourself exactly where you want to. So if you understand the natural angle, and what I mean by the natural angle is the natural angle that the cue ball will take after it makes contact with the ball. And the reason this is so important is because if you know where the ball is going naturally and you don't want the ball to go there, then you can do something about it. So the first thing even now what I look at is, is, this, is have I left myself a natural angle to get on my next ball? And even a lot of the top players, I do this coaching thing quite a lot at English 8 ball. And you wouldn't believe how many of even the top players don't fully understand the natural angle. So if you fully understand the natural angle, then you understand the physics of the cue ball. You understand exactly what the cue ball is doing if you understand naturally where it will go. So this is why I feel that this part is, is very important because when you're taking out the finish at Chinese 8 ball, you have to use the natural angle all of the time. So for example, if you leave yourself an angle on your last ball that the natural angle is going into the pocket with the white, then you have to know this. If you know this, then you can change it. But then it also gets deeper than this. So if you leave yourself an angle that is okay, but you want to change it for some reason, you can also do this. So I'm going to ask somebody to come up one at a time and we're going to choose the natural angle. So we're going to use this ball first and I'm going to ask the player to put the cue ball in the place that is the natural angle. Okay? Yeah? Okay? So maybe you want to come up first? We, we did this one now. We did this one. Okay. So for the natural angle, I want him to make the cue ball hit the three ball. Just, just yeah, so pot the, pot the eight and let the white kick the three. Yeah, almost. See, almost. It, he, put, he put the cue ball in the correct place, he just hit too low on the cue ball. Yeah? But yeah, he almost put it in the correct place. You try again? No, he can move it himself. No, no, yeah, I didn't put it, I didn't, yeah. I didn't put it in the right place. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah? So, okay, that, that's, that's the one natural angle, okay? So, okay, do you want to come up? There's, there's another natural angle to hit the three ball also. There's two. So he played from this side, right? There's another one. He can put the cue ball anywhere. See? So he potted the ball and the cue ball hit there. So what it means is that 
he just put the cue ball in the wrong place for the natural angle. So the way he sees the line was wrong. So he potted the ball and the cue ball hit here. Yeah, so the natural angle is there. Yeah? If he wanted to hit the three ball from what he put it here, right? He put it there. That's where he first put it. Now, the, the cue ball hit there. If he wants to hit the three ball, then he has to play with a little stun. And it's so important to know this because if, if you want to kick the three or avoid the three, you have to know what to do. Yeah? So the natural angle for, to hit it is now there. So just plain ball, just roll it. There. See? That was the natural angle. So if he was trying to play this shot, if this is what he tried to play during a, during a frame, during a match, and he lands here, he knows naturally he doesn't have to do nothing, just roll it. But if you land here, which is only this much difference, now it's a much tougher shot to hit the three. Okay, let it. Let him try to hit the three now from here. It's much tougher. See, so much harder. You want another go? This is where he put it the first time. See, that didn't count as it in the three because he didn't pot the ball. So if you, when you pot the ball, the white will take a different angle. Now you see how much harder it is to hit the three from there or there. It's this much difference, right? Yeah. But if you understand that you left yourself an angle where it's not natural, then you can change it. Yeah? Okay? So, now, the natural angle, we hit the four ball. So just, just roll it, so just, just, to ro just roll it. So no, no stun, just, just roll. Yeah, he put the cue ball in the right place, just didn't, didn't, he just didn't get... You try again, you try again, he just need... He played it like a little stun shot. He's, when, when I say get to the top of the cue ball, you have to get to the top. Raise the hand, get to the top. Okay. You know why he missed the cue ball to here? because he, put the, he missed the, the eight to here because he put the cue ball in the wrong place and he tried to make the angle. He, 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 he hit the eight ball here to try and make more angle, which means he put the cue ball in the wrong place to start with. See, now, now he put this too straight. It's too straight. Yeah, there. Okay, that's it. Yeah, he hit the cue ball at the top. But you see, it's a good effort, okay? He hit it good. Now, there's another one. The other, the other one. He put the cue ball in the right place. He just didn't make the pot, right? Try again. He, the cue ball is perfect here. Oh, he hit the four. <laughs> Okay, but, but you can see what he's trying to do, right? He's just trying to play the top spin. Okay, so... Yeah, he's putting it here just to top behind. Okay, there's, there's also there's another one. Yeah, okay. So, 
if you know, you got it. So if you know that that's where he left it, now how much harder is it to play this shot now? Okay? So, but if, if you land here, the natural angle is running down here. So it, it's so hard to hit the four ball now from here. It's tough. But if you know it's tough, then you, then you're able, you know it's not natural, so then you, you know you can try. So it's not, the, the natural angle is coming down here, right? If I, if I stun too much, I hit here, 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 or here. This is the difficult part of Chinese eight ball. Because it's like, it's like a little stun. See, I missed the ball trying to create the angle. The reason I missed here is because I was trying to make more angle. So that is why you've got to know exactly where naturally it's going to go. Okay? So tell him to just play it naturally. Just, just pot the ball. Pot the ball natural. Yeah, just play it natural. Just play it natural and we'll see where the cue ball goes. Okay, hits the 15, right? Okay, but now what if this is his last ball and he wants to get on the eight ball? Okay, now he knows and we all know that the cue ball is going to hit this. So he has to change the angle, yeah? Okay. Yeah, with a cushion, yeah. So before we know the natural angle was hitting here, right? So now he has to change the angle to make it hit here. But if he gets hold of it too much, he will, he will maybe hit here. If he gets none, we know, we know he will hit the 15. So he has to change the angle to get the desired position on the, on the eight ball. See, that time, too much, too much done. Too much done. Yeah? Oh, I mean, just, just to make sure that you're not part it, it doesn't go in this pocket. <laughs> okay, so the first time the natural angle hit the 15 ball. The second time you get too much done and it goes here and goes the wrong side. There. It was the right line, just a, obviously too hard. But did you see how much easier it was when I put the ball here? Because the cue ball hit the ball this time. Because he had a target to aim for. And sometimes what you can do is make your own target. Sometimes it can be just a little chalk mark that you can aim for. So this time hit the three ball, but obviously a little softer. Control the pace. Much better. I want one more go. And this is where, you know, before we were talking about the pace control in the last one. This is where this is all together now. When we, when we were playing the screw back and the top spin to control the pace. Here he's controlling the pace but changing the angle at the same time. Just again, a little bit too much. Yeah. And even though it looks a simple shot, it's not. You see? Even though it looks like a simple, a simple shot, it's not because he, he has to play it softly. <laughs> okay? It looks like, but if I know naturally where it's going, then I can change it.